Let's go to the tail of the tape for the first quarterfinal matchup in the lightweight World Grand Prix. Starting off this World Grand Prix, is, this is the fight to do with. Take a look at those records, Morrow. You're looking at 20 and 22 wins. That's 42 wins with only seven losses between the two fighters. These guys are both incredible. With the official introductions, here is Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA in tonight's co-main event kicks off the quarterfinal round of the one million dollar lightweight world grand prix scheduled for five five minute rounds live on showtime we introduce the blue corner at five foot nine weighing in 154.4 pounds now three and oh inside the bellator cage his overall professional record features 22 wins just three losses with 11 of his finishes by knockout seven by way of submission ranked now at number four presenting alexander Shockley. across the cage his adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot ten weighing in 155 pounds even after knocking out the number one contender in his Bellator debut he enters tonight with 20 professional victories four defeats and he too owns 18 finishes with 16 of his coming by knockout two by submission ladies and gentlemen introducing the number two rank Tafik Musayev and the referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Okay, fighters, we've gone over the rules in the back. There were no final questions from you. There were no final questions from you, Red. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Come out ready to fight. Our Grand Prix rules, these are five five-minute rounds in championship fights. If the champion is in a draw they will advance in case of that draw all other draws will go to the judges after their scores have been combined the judges will then decide who advances in the tournament Tofik Musayev with 14 first round finishes Alexander Shabli competing in his first fight scheduled for five ready? rounds ready? the fuse is lit the Bellator MMA one million dollar eight man lightweight world Grand Prix is underway right hand as Shopley went downstairs. Musayev timed it, came over the top with the right hand. Musayev normally is a guy, he likes to get out front. He likes to force his opponents back onto their back foot. He likes to be the one leading the dance. So we're going to see what he does here. Musayev went from a successful run in the land of the rising sun. He's now fighting out of the sunshine state of Florida. And this fight, a battle of bragging rights for Florida's top MMA gyms. Kill Cliff FC's Musayev, American top team Shabli. They're not booing the action. A lot of luminaries in attendance. truly appears to me that Musayev is really kind of changing his style. Instead of being the guy that goes first, he's kind of saying, all right, I'm going to wait and I'm going to try to counter. While Shabli, this is his normal way. He wants you to throw at him and he wants to hit you with counter strikes. So much at stake in this loaded Grand Prix. Not only the opportunity to become the best lightweight in the sport, but also, again, an opportunity to cash that $1 million check. In. Both Shabli and Musayev. Humble backgrounds, Musayev lost his father suddenly at the age of 17. His dad always thought Musayev would be an incredibly talented, decorated fighter. Well, he wasn't wrong there, because he is definitely talented. And as we mentioned, Musayev known for his knockout power. Shabli has never been. KO'd. 
tactical start feeling out round trying to download that data that will become helpful and you got to figure look at this is a five round fight and now they are booing the lack of action that's all right this, you got to look and say they've got to feel each other out they got to look for the tells they got to look to see where they can get that opening and take advantage of their opponents. Spoiled, They're just jump right in. Spoiled by Musayev's Bellator MMA debut, which ended in <laughs> 27 seconds. That's true. And Shabli, of course, as well. He's coming off a TKO victory over Brent Primus, so both of them known for their striking prowess. And again, the respect, and you're right, John. You gotta, open up. You got to follow the game plan. You gotta figure the fans have just seen two first round <laughs> KOs, and so it's like, oh, we want everything that way. It just doesn't work that way. This there's a lot on the line right here. Big time bragging rights. Good hand combination there by Sh Shobley. And of course, it began with a 26 second knockout win for Bellator's all time KO King, Michael Venom Page. 17 years ago today, in California's first legally sanctioned MMA event. The main event saw Frank Shamrock start Caesar Gracie in 21 seconds. And here we are. Just over a minute left in the first round. A cautious start. You see the side side switching stances. Exactly, but that was a beautiful a inside leg kick by Shabli. And he dropped Usayev with that kick. Under a minute left in the round. Body kick by Musayo. Now it's starting to get into the more normal flow. Shabli is always going to be the counter striker. That's what he likes to do. Quick exchange. Musayev tracking Shabli launches another combination upstairs. Nice uppercut on the inside by Chopper. Left uppercut, right hand. 15 seconds left. You may hear the chants begin for Kung Lee, a San Jose legend. Frank Shamrock is on his way to the building, actually made the flight from Carlsbad to be a part of the festivities here tonight. The House of Shamrock built so many indelible moments in this building for the MMA legend. And now we begin round number two of this opening quarterfinal bout in the Bellator MMA Lightweight World Grand Prix. Both of them trying to get the other to bite on their face. We've seen the hand speed of Shabli on display in that cautious opening five minutes. Tough round to score. How did you score it? Very tough round. I almost I wanted to go 10-10 because I didn't see enough by either guy. There was the inside leg kick that Shabli landed. There was the one combination by Messiah where he landed a clean left right. I gave it to Messiah, but it could go either way. I'm just glad my score doesn't count. <laughs> oh, that was a nice hard shot there. Shabli tried to return. Usayev has that right hand locked and loaded, ready to Pulled the trigger, but not doing so. A minute and a half has elapsed here in the second round. And there, counter right hand again lands upstairs for Musayev as Shabli went downstairs with the kick. But the one thing that I'm seeing out of this right now is Shabli, although looking for these counters, he's not really moving Musayev back. Muted offense from both fighters as Musayev got clipped with that right cross by Shabli. Got his attention. Musayev loading up on that right hand, that big looping shot. And 
then he goes to plan. Southpaw with the body kick back to Orthodox. So he's trying to find a way to get Shabli off of whatever strategy he might employ. Shabli again, explosive John with the combination. Stepped back, but not enough. Very, combination. Very clean by Shabli, but again, we need just give me a little more output. Just a little more. Right now, here in the second round, Musayev one of 18 in terms of strikes landed, while Shabli credited with five out of 15 attempts. So, very cautious, nice. Threw out the jab, change levels, well defended right now by Shabli. I don't see Musayev being able to out-wrestle Shabli. Shabli's wrestling is very solid. So by putting himself in this position, this is not an, an advantageous position for Messiah to be in. Physically, he's very strong, but the technique and skill of wrestling goes to Shabli. And we mentioned this is Shabli's first fight scheduled for five rounds, so he wants to make sure that he has enough in the tank for what could be a taxing battle, able to escape the rush of Tofik Musayev. said the fuse was lit. It's a long fuse, John. <laughs> Minute and a half left in the second. Messiah yeah. is having a little bit of problems with the range. Can't seem to get that distance control that he normally is able to establish. Shabli just keeps himself a little bit outside of it. You see when Messiah comes in, Shabli just takes that nice clean step. Oh, clean shot by Shabli. Clean right hand by Shabli. Admires his handiwork a bit, but effective blow that tag Messiah. Messiah sitting down and throwing that right hand with wild and bad intentions. Under a minute now left in the second round. And this is where Shabli will create problems for Messiah. Having his back up towards the cage and pushing back. Here comes the forward motion of the side. 30 seconds left in the second. The Boo Birds out in full force. <laughs> anticipating much more action here in this matchup between two fighters could emerge as the dark horse. Right hand to the body by Musayev. Funny what happens when people pay money, John. They expect something in return. And while we continue with the lightweight world Grand Prix. Final round, buddy. You ready? You ready? Fight! Third round. Between Tofik Mosayev, ranked to number two in the loaded lightweight division against the number four ranked Alexander Shopley, looking to both of them looking to book passage to the semi-finals. And Mosayev continues to be bothered by the, the hand speed of Alexander Shopley, but just not enough offensive output. And now Mosayev has been stopped by a shot below the belt. The best shot of the night is an illegal one, John. <laughs> I don't know if it's the best shot of the night, but it definitely had the most effect. Stay one moment, you're fine. Yeah. Well, it wasn't, you know, we'll see where people are going to look at that, and they're going to go, no. I saw, I saw. Look at how the foot traveled the down. down. It did connect right right up here, in the right body, here. no right doubt here. about Total it, but then it traveled down, down and hit the groin. In the cup when the foot came down, the strike's legal, but the foot coming down hit him in the cup. Exactly what Jason Herzog is hey. pointing out. No. Stop, stop. Hey, hey, you're over here. 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 Hey, come here. You're here. Hey, give me him. Hey, right here. Musayev right has here. five minutes I to need recover. I him now. Asking for a translator. Hey, you tell him right now. That's a fair blow, but the kick, the I'm coming down got him in the cup. If he can't continue, this fight's over. Uh, 
Do you understand? I'm right, so I don't know what you're saying. Yeah? Okay. You're right over there. Hey, can you continue? Hey, can you continue? No, no. There's no more time here. If you cannot, come here. Come here. Come here. John, what do you make of what's transpiring right now? What's transpiring is... And it's over. Tell us what happened here, John. What happened was, Shabli landed a beautiful kick to the solar plex of Messiah. But his, when his foot came down, it hit the cup. Jason Herzog is telling Messiah, look, if you can't continue on, you gotta let me know, but you're gonna lose. And we see Alexander Shabli roll his way to the semifinals. And again, uh, just one of those nights, uh, anticlimactic finish to this quarterfinal bout between Shabli and Tofik Musayev. And Shabli books passage to the semifinals and sends Musayev to his first defeat under the Bellator belt. Yeah, it, it, this is what we, when we looked at, both great strikers. It actually ended off a strike. Take another look at it. That is a legal kick, and then it, the foot hits the top of the groin, but it doesn't hit, that's the belt line. It doesn't truthfully hit. If you're looking at that, watch where it lands, boom, up into the body, and then the foot comes down there. But was it the kick to the solar plexus, or was it the foot coming down that created the injury? Alexander Shabli has now won eight consecutive fights and will advance to the semifinals. There's Artem Levin, kickboxing great. American top team earning bragging rights on this night against their state rival, Killcliff FC. So let me try to explain this to you, what you have. You had a fair blow land on the body, and then there was what we would call incidental contact with the foot coming down, touching the groin. Watch what happens here. Alexander Shabley throws a beautiful front teep kick right to the solar plexus. It's well placed. Boom, it hits, and as the foot's coming down, there's incidental contact to the groin, but it's truthfully the kick to the solar plexus and that sternum area that causes him the problem. And so Jason Herzog, as the referee, is looking at this saying, hey, it was a fair blow. There was incidental contact, but I'm saying that you're not able to continue based upon the fair blow. That way, it's a TKO victory for Alexander Schaub. Let's go now, make it official with Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the kick is ruled a fair and legal blow with incidental contact to the cup. The official time of the stoppage, 29 seconds, round number three, with the red corner unable to continue. The winner by TKO moving on to the semifinals of the lightweight world, Grand Prix, Alexander Shabley. Let's go to Big John McCarthy. I am here with your winner, Alexander Shabley. Alexander, that was a very technical fight. You guys were given a lot of feints, a lot of movement. What was it that was giving you a hesitation in throwing at times when there was openings, but it was tight? Отличный бой, технично все у вас прошло, немножко разогревались долго, но потом очень все технично, хорошие были обмены. Когда вы поняли, что вы начинаете доминировать и что, возможно, вашу закончится пользу? Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you. I'm very happy this win. I'm very topic. Great guy, great, great fighter, uh, very tough fighter. This uh, number one uh, uh, fighter in my career, tough. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm little speak English. Дальше продолжу на русском. Спасибо всем, друзья, кто болел, кто здесь в зале сегодня находится.
Я знаю, что здесь и ростовчане тоже есть. Всем спасибо. Еще хочу сказать, что Тофик очень сильный парень, к нему безмерное и большое уважение. Он заслуживает только аплодисменты. Вот и что хочу сказать. Хотите вы этого, не хотите, но я стану чемпионом. Как бы не хотели вы, здесь есть сетка, я дойду до финала и заберу этот пояс и чек миллион долларов. I would like to thank all my fans. You guys are the best. Thank you for the support. Uh, and whether you like it or not, I'm going to be the champion. I'm going to get that belt eventually. Thank you. And by the way, Tofik is a great guy. He's a great opponent. But I have to move on. Real quick, this puts you in a position where you're going to take on the winner of Patricky Pitbull or AJ McKee. If given that ability, which one would you rather face? Uh, вы теперь вот предстоит возможность вы либо Питбуля, um, либо Маки uh, встретить в следующем uh, поединке. Кого бы вы предпочли? <coughs> Оба очень серьезные ребята. И, и Джей Маки, и Питбуль серьезные парни. В этом гран-при нет uh, слабых соперников. И я повторюсь, если бы у меня была возможность, я бы дал каждому парню по миллиону, который дерется в этом гран-при, потому что они заслуживают это. Одни из самых лучших легковесов собрались здесь. Но победитель должен быть один. И Джей Маккей, Питбуль, разницы нет. Вдвоем пусть выходят. I don't really care. It could be AJ Maki, it could be Pitbull. If you want to bring them both together, I'll fight them both. Uh, but again, uh, I'm telling you, I'm heading there and I'm going to get that belt. I'm going to get become the champion. Well, congratulations on a big win. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the man moving on in the lightweight Grand Prix, Alexander Shabley.